Hey guys, so I find this video. Hey guys, so this week has been tough for me. My grandmother passed away. Um, the last video that I did, we went to go visit her, and she wasn't. She didn't look like she was doing too good. But I didn't know it would happen this fast. Today is the 6th of October. She passed away on the 1st. Um, the 1st we had a funeral for my cousin. She passed away from COVID. And um, so that day, my grandmother passed away too. So it's been a very rough time for me and my family. And it just hasn't been the easiest time so far 2020 has been very kind to anyone so um, I just wanted to talk about the grieving process <laughs> um, everybody's grieving process looks a little bit different so it goes in stages so you have the ups and then you go down it's the ups and downs is the denial you know they're I can't believe it and the disbelief and then finally it, it becomes the acceptance um, I'm not really in the acceptance part yet. <laughs> I'm still missing my grandmother a lot. She's granny to me though. <laughs> She's always been granny to me. She raised me when my mom wasn't there. And so I've been with my granny since I was little. And my mom was there off and on, but I've been with my granny for most of the time. Um, so yeah, it's, it's hitting tough. It's like losing your mom, you know, because she raised me. She was my mom. So, um, but yes, for some people, they are okay with it. They accept it and they put it in a box and push it to the side. Uh, some people clean to distract themselves, but then sometimes they hit them later. But most of it is like this. It's like you going on a roller coaster like one minute you're laughing and then you're sad so it's, it's normal to have that roller coaster it's normal to see something and it reminds you of them like I was cleaning out I was getting some rice out of an area and I saw her oxygen tank and so it reminded me of her or I went to the store and she likes nuts and it reminds me of her and so that's normal to be reminded of them and to think oh, I'm gonna give them a phone call but they passed away so that's normal too to think of them and want to call them and talk to them and it's all normal um, some people around you may not understand some people will say ask you what's wrong how you're doing when really you just want them to be with you and sit with you and listen so make sure you communicate with them and let them know you know you know honey I just need you to be here I don't need advice I don't need you to check up on me just be next to me if or you know if that's what you like if that's what you or get hugs if you need hugs talk it out if you need to talk ask for space if you need space but don't retreat so um, so that's what I'm trying not to do I'm trying not to retreat and but I feel like part of me is changing you know I don't know if it's for the good or for the worst but it feels like part of me is a little bit different because she was the one person in my life that never put me down unconditional love so I'm lucky to have that but she was the one person in my life that I had and she's gone now so I'm trying to wrap my finger around that everybody else that they always fight with me they have some negative say you know it's like yeah, my immediate family, not all my family, just the immediate family. But um, it's hard because it's like losing your best friend. And, you know, if you ever lost a best friend, you know. So um, one, all I can do is one day at a time because she wouldn't want me to break down and crumble and fall apart. But we have some, some family dynamics to work through and that's never fun. You know, trying to figure out, you know, the dynamics of 
the family <laughs> especially during a time like this you know N not everyone's gonna come together in a time like this some people go further apart or some people grow together I feel like we are going a little bit further apart so um, but yes I think I'm changing and I'm not the glue anymore or that I don't want to be the glue anymore <laughs> so things are just <clears throat> a little bit different so if you don't see any videos from me for a while that's that's why and if the videos are slightly different that's why on that note guys I say pray for my family uh, pray for healing and patience and understanding and a peace of mind because um, we're gonna need it thank you guys bye Baby, I never did have this much <laughs> for pampers and clothes and a rainbow so pretty in the sky of all the friendly faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands saying, How do you do? They really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to sing along. Let's I gotta learn. Sing, sing the way you do out there. Yeah, street. sing one more good song. One more song. Yeah. And the, uh, like you do out there. You know, this, is, this is a deep one. You'll love this one. <clears throat> like you do out there. You know, yeah. they don't like that song that you thought was a good song, but it wasn't a good song. Oh, I know. I, I know the song. Pretend, you know. Back then, when you I, oh, you want me to change? Well, baby, I'll change my mind. Yeah. You ever say, uh huh? It's raining in Georgia. You never say no. I want to learn. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, just like the river. I got to learn. I want to learn that. I like that song. That's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. And who are you? I am Delanor Green, Ashley's Owens' mother. And Nana. And Amelia's Nana. <laughs> and your mother-in-law. No, okay. <laughs> and Hello. I'm here this is from Fresno from Modesto visiting. This is her, your mother? Yeah. yeah. Who are you? That's my mom. And that's grandma. It's granny. granny. Hey, Granny. 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 Granny.